Hey everybody, so glad you could join me today for another hiking video in our Hiking Colorado series. I'd also appreciate it, while you guys are here, please hit the subscribe button, ring the bell for notifications, because there's more hiking videos to come in this series. In today's hiking video, I'm going to be taking on the Chief Ure Mine Trail. I didn't tackle it earlier because it was snowed in and from the all trail reports, everything is melted up there and we've had several days of really good weather. So the trail conditions should be dry and it should be a great day for a hike. So let's go take on the Chief Ure Mine Trail. Come on, let's go. Hey guys, well, we made it to the trailhead. And if this trailhead looks familiar, that's because this is also the Portland Loop trailhead. And it's actually the Portland Loop Chief Ure Trail. Uh, there is, you, you can do just the loop like I did in my previous video, or you can do the loop and turn off and go up to the Chief Ure Mine. Uh, and it was frozen over with a lot of snow last time when I did the Portland Loop, so I couldn't go up. From all the all trails reports, it's uh, they're indicating that the Chief Ure uh, trail is open. So that's what we're gonna be tackling today, like I said in the intro. So this first section, I might not do too much shooting on that because you guys have seen that. I will throw in some clips here and there, but I'm gonna try to move kind of quick to get to that junction and then we'll take it up from that junction and from there I'll do more detailed filming of the trail up to the Chief Ure mine. But as far as equipment goes, it's the standard stuff I bring with me, a gallon jug of water, trail snacks, extra GoPro batteries, uh, an external battery pack for charging my phone if need be. And today, of course, I have my trekking pole. Probably won't do any more hikes without it. Uh, and trekking poles for the Chief Ure mine that section is highly recommended because there's some pretty steep grades going up there and of course you got to come back down so it's going to be steep grades coming down but that's it let's go ahead and hit the trail and i'll see you guys at the chief ura junction let's go made it to the junction the portland loop chief ure trail junction as you can see from the sign right here and the first section getting up here i moved kind of quick i've been on trail 39 minutes traveled three quarters of a mile with 472 feet of elevation gain so i'm a little winded i actually caught my breath a little bit before i started recording this so and the sign is saying 1.7 miles to the Chief Ure mine. But according to all trails, most of it is up, up, and up. So I'm going to take a little break. I'm going to hydrate really, really well and catch my breath. And then we'll continue on and tackle this trail right here. And I don't know if the camera shows it, but yep, it's going up. So there's more to come as we try to take on this trail and make it up to the chief ure mine i'm gonna get some water more to come 
Let's get it. everyone I'm doing a little trail update I'm about two and a half hours in time on trail a little over two miles in with 1460 feet of elevation gain and so far this is definitely a hard hike you are definitely going uphill it's gonna look like I'm going uphill the majority of the way to Chief Ure mine also a warning if you suffer from a fear of heights be warned coming up to this one this one is all the hikes i've done being on the cliff edge this hike is the first one in a couple of places gave me a little fear of heights my fear of heights kicked in a little bit and i felt a little uneasy and uh, that'll let you know because those of you who've seen my videos seen i'm high up i'm on cliff edges for all my hikes but this one made me feel a little a little nervous but uh definitely need poles for this one too you definitely need a trekking pole for this one but this is where i'm at so far that's uh the amphitheater thing that's mount abrams back there behind that pine, pine tree i'm not sure but absolutely stunning view right here from where i'm at and let me go ahead and go up here and round the corner kind of so you guys can get an idea of this section of the trail and yeah there's the valley out there but this is where i'm at so far so i'm gonna keep pushing i'm so close to the chief ure mine uh so let's keep going and hit that payoff let's go gonna cry when you're gone Where will you go? Won't you miss the ones you know? I'll be here 
to the payoff <clears throat> I made it to uh, Chief Ure mine and this hike has been a hard one boy I, I know I say it every trail that uh, this is the hardest trail I've done so far well I'm gonna say it again this is the hardest trail I've done so far it it is up up uphill very steep incline grade all the way up here to the mine shack definitely have to have trekking poles for this one and i am dreading going down what i've learned since i've been hiking up here in the rocky mountains the san juans in particular going down is much harder than going up and on this trail, there is a lot, and I mean a lot, of loose gravel. Normally going down is pretty fast, but not on this one. This one, I'm gonna be taking my time going very slow going down because I ate it and busted my butt a couple of times on some trails, so definitely gotta have trekking poles, like I said, but let's go inside the mine. Uh, I just walked through, you guys just saw me walk through the Chief Ure mine shack. Uh, let's go ahead and go back in, and I'm going in from the backside, and this looks like, not sure, maybe it was some kind of food storage, and as we come into, the shack and yeah this is pretty sad so much for leave no trace huh when you hike honestly this this aggravates me because when i hike i ins i respect the environment i respect places like this these old buildings that you can come and see part of history and there's a rule of leave no trace for a reason and this just all this graffiti on the walls, it honestly just pisses me off. It's pretty sad that people can't have respect for this place. It would have been so much better if they wouldn't have. But let's continue our tour through here. Enough of my rant about leave no trace, but like I said, this is aggravating. So we come into this. This room obviously was a bedroom because there's an old mattress here, old bed frame, and it looks like another bedroom with some shelves looks like they may have had a couple of beds in here because that looks like kind of a maybe it was bunk beds or another cot and a table and then here in the main room when you come in i'm assuming this is like the living area there's another box spring right there I'm not sure it might be a door or i don't know maybe a piece of the ceiling bed frame another table and look at this this is really neat an old cast iron stove that is really 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 cool that this is still here and it's a shame that the graffiti is kind of destroying it and messing with the view but 
This is inside the Chief URA mine shack. And we step out the front door and here you can see that incredible waterfall that I came up on and had to do a river crossing. But uh, some very, very nice hikers from Colorado, a couple of very nice ladies told me if you continue on the trail, there's another mine shack. So let's go ahead and get through here and get back on the trail and see if there's another mine shack. Okay, I hiked a little ways further and I didn't film it because that is really sketchy. I mean, you are like a uh, like thousand foot drop off and I can't film that. Nope, not filming that. Have to pay attention. Uh, but yeah, let me show you guys so I can head back. There is another mine shot, but the grade to get down there, that's just way too steep, way too sketchy. I'm not risking that. So if y'all are brave enough in your hiking ability and you want to try to brave that going down to that shack, you only have one life. So I'm shutting this off and this is pretty epic right here to views. And there's Red Mountain out there. Gonna head back to Chief Ure and I'm gonna give you guys my all trail stats for making it to the payoff on this one. So let's head back to uh, the main mine shack. Okay guys, these are my all trail stat for the Chief URA mine hike. I made it to the payoff. I've been on trail three and a half hours. I've traveled two and three quarter miles, uh, 1600 feet of elevation gain. And right now I am currently standing at 10,189 feet. So that's a record elevation for me. This has been a fantastic hike. It's time to head back and heading back i may not be able to get a whole lot of video heading back because like i said heading back is very steep going downhill lots and lots of loose rocks and gravel so it's going to be slow going and i'm going to have to work so i'll try to give you guys some of the more epic views once like i get to some turns or some flatter sections so let's head back <music> to the trailhead the chief ura mine hike is officially complete and let me give you my all trail stats on this one the length of the hike there and back was 4.88 miles time on trail was 
four hours 55 minutes with 1906 feet of elevation gain and i burned 1708 calories on this hike and i believe my maximum elevation achieved was uh a little over 10,000 feet like just under 10,200 i think the highest elevation i've gotten to so far on any of the hikes here in ure that i've done overall impressions of this hike the chief ure mine hike is a very hard hike like all trails says it is uh it is uphill pretty much the entire way there are a lot of switchbacks with very steep uphill grades lots of loose gravel there are some sections that are kind of washed out so you got to watch your footing uh the mine is beautiful and the waterfall upper cascade uh waterfalls oh my gosh that was the most beautiful waterfall i've seen yet uh upper cascade was just it was just mind-blowing um the chief ure mine shack that was really neat except for all the graffiti on the walls so please people follow when you guys hike the trails have some respect for nature i know you guys will all my subscribers and future subscribers i know you guys will have respect for nature and respect for places like that and follow the rule of leave no trace but overall great hike hard hike coming down was more difficult than going up because of the steep downgrade and the loose gravel so trekking poles like i've said a couple of times definitely need a trekking pole for this one or a couple trekking poles for this one it will help you out tremendously on this one so if you guys like this hike please want to hear from you i'd love to hear from all of my subscribers and followers and future subscribers please leave me a comment down below let me know what you think of this hiking video your thoughts if you like them uh i'm gonna do more in my colorado hiking series and if uh you guys like these videos please give me a thumbs up don't forget hit that subscribe button and ring the bell for notifications because there are more videos to come and by ringing that bell you're notified every time i release a new video and as always i would greatly appreciate the support and i do appreciate the support from all my subscribers i appreciate all y'all tuning in and watching my videos and that's it for this one like we say in louisiana les bon temps roule let the good times roll and i'll see you next time on the trail bye bye now mm -hmm.